I went through and I found myself a couple of possible themes, which I'm now going to upload to my website, and we're going to try them out. If you don't already have an FTP program, I'm going to recommend that you pick one up. Um, the one I use is a free one called FileZilla. Just do a search on Google for File, FileZilla. It's an open source FTP program, and it works for both PCs and Macs. And you can just go here, download, and you'll see we have Windows, we have Linux, we have Macs. So whichever you have, you can go and download this program because we're going to have to upload these themes to our site. Here's what it looks like when you first run FileZilla. You're going to need to put in your host name. That's usually your domain name. And then the username and password you use to log into your web host, not your blog's username and password, but the username and password for your web host. You might have chosen it or it might have been assigned to you by your web host. Look at your emails from your web host. You can also go up into the site manager and you can set up sites by doing new site and put in the host, which is again the domain name, whether you connect by FTP. Usually I use normal and then you're going to have your username and your password that you put in then you can save it here. Which is okay, I'm going to cancel it because I already have it set. Let's actually log in. And let's connect to one of mine. You're going to see that it logs in. Here on the left, we have your computer. On the right, we have the server that you're connected to. So let's actually look at the themes that I downloaded. I'm going to leave this up because we're going to come back to it in a second. But I'm going to look at the themes I downloaded. They came in zip files, so I need to extract them. I'm going to extract all files. Okay, I'm extracting that file. Okay, I don't need to show it at this point, but I extracted this file. Let's also extract this one. Okay. okay I extracted those. I also own a membership with the Revolution theme, so I'm going to grab one of those as a possible one to use. Let's go with the news theme. I'm going to extract this one out. Okay, so I've extracted all of my themes, so now let's go in and let's upload them to the website. Let's go back to FileZilla, okay, um, on the right we have the server, let's go and look for where our blog is, we found the blog directory, let's go to the content section, and you'll see there's a little directory here called themes, we're going to go inside the themes, that's where we're going to upload. Now I'm going to go to the left side which is my computer, and I'm going to look for where I've unzipped each of my themes. Now this is really important. Make sure you look inside the directories and, and see if you're going all the way in and actually uploading the directory that has all the files in it. So let's see if I hear, okay, here's all the files, so I'm going to go up one directory and I'm uploading this entire directory for the theme. Okay, so it's uploading the directory for me. Once it finishes this one, I'm going to go through and I'm going to upload each of the other two themes I was going to try out in my server. So there's going to be three in all that I'm uploading. Okay, finish this one, so let's go back and let's grab the next one. Same process, I'm going to make sure I'm there's all the files, so I'm going to go up one and upload the whole folder. Okay, same thing here. And then I'm going to go do it to the third one. And then I'll see you on the inside of our WordPress. Now let's go back to our WordPress directory in the dashboard. And let's click on themes. Okay, you can see that we have uh, the two original themes and the three new themes that I've uploaded that I'm going to try out. Let's try, let's try out this one. All I'm going to do is click on it, and you're going to see it's going to show what, it, what my system looks like. And let's activate and see what it really looks live. Okay, let's refresh our site, and you can see here's what it, that one looks like live on the site got some space for some ads. It automatically filled in my title and my tagline up top. Pretty nice basic theme here. This was, was a free one. Okay, let's try this other free one. Same thing, we can just look at it. We can activate it and I can refresh and see what it looks like on my actual blog. Ooh, another good looking theme. This would look good with my blog as well. You can see how it's designed in the theme. Okay. Let's go back and let's try one more. This is actually a paid theme that I own the sets for. Let's activate it. Okay. Let's 
load this one in, refresh. Okay, you can see this one's got a nice setting here. You can see the different categories down at this section. So this is a basic setting. So that's basically how you go in and you can install different things. It's really easy to go out and find free themes. If you want to get a more unique look, you can go and pay a designer. We'll notice on these themes, the designer's even telling me right here that I can get a custom blog design at starting at $500. There's a lot of custom blog designers and you can get a theme made just for you as you if you like as well. So I'll see you on the next video where we'll get in and we'll play around a little bit with our themes.